Hi guys, what's up, Zach here. Today we are here with a preview of the 2014 Brazilian Grand Prix, but before I get into it, I'm gonna quickly talk about a couple of things for you guys. First off is that the F1 2014 giveaway is gonna be uh, sort of announced tomorrow, and I just thought I'd let you guys know because you can get your vote in today to make sure you get your vote in or your comment in, so you might have a chance to win F1 because voting is gonna close uh, tonight, so basically just get your vote in now or get your comment in and you might be able to win F1 2014 for PC And the second thing I wanted to show you is these gunner glasses that I've got I wanted to have some of these for so long and I finally got some so that's really awesome And it should help reduce eye strain and stuff whilst they're editing so yeah Because when you're editing for a long time any youtuber knows if you're editing like a long video and stuff Your eyes start hurting and everything and hopefully these will help that it means that they should you know Protect your eyes a bit and also you can edit for longer and stuff so that hopefully that's going to happen for me. I'll let you guys know in a couple of weeks how they're working out for me. But I'll quickly show you inside the box because I think it's quite a cool thing. And uh, yeah, so have a quick look inside the box. So what we've got inside the box, guys, we've got obviously the glasses there. We've got a case there, which is good as well. We don't want to get the lenses um, scratched or anything. We've also got a little instruction manual there to go through everything that you might need to know. But obviously the main part of it here is the glasses. There are many different styles and stuff for the gunner, gunner range, gunner optic range. So definitely, if you want to go and check them out, I'll leave a link into the, in the description down below because they're going to be helping you out when you're editing and gaming and stuff and especially with me i've um i've wanted to have something like this for a long time because my eyes when i edit for a long time my eyes start hurting a little bit so these are pretty much the perfect thing for me hopefully they reduce eye strain and stuff and as i said guys in the future i'll let you know you know what's going on with them um but they've had massive massive good reviews over the years so the best place to go for them and uh, hopefully everything will be good with them but anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed that quick sort of unboxing and showing you guys what's inside the box but anyway, let's get into this video, which is a review, or sorry, a preview of the Brazilian Grand Prix. Hey guys, what's up, Zach here. Today we are here with a preview of the 2014 Brazilian Grand Prix. A lot of stuff's been going on in the Formula 1 world over the last couple of days, but we'll try and focus on the racing in this video here today. So, I'm doing this video whilst Free Practice 2 is on, so I don't know when you guys are watching this, whether it's after qualifying or whatever, but... Really, I'm looking at the times in the free practice too, and it's, I've got to say, Rosberg has found something. He's looking very, very fast, and I don't know what the times are at the end of the session or everything, but I'm literally recording this as free practice two is on. But I think, honestly, guys, I think Rosberg really needs to go and get the win this weekend. I mean, he can still win this. He can still win this championship if he finishes, um, or if he retires from this race, he can still win the championship. I think there'll be something like a 48, 49 point gap if he retires from the race then Hamilton goes on to win this race and um, but he can still win obviously because there's double points in Abu Dhabi and I want to know in the comment section of this video guys do you think double points is good for this championship or not do you think it's good that it takes it down to the last race or not let me know in the comments down below I'm always interested to see what you guys think but at the moment here in Brazil, I've got to say, Rosberg looks like he's got a bit of an edge, and I'm not too sure that's just on the one lap pace or over the, the full, you know, sort of distance race, you know, over a whole race distance, how it will fare. But on a single lap at the moment, he's looking pretty good. But then you can never discount Lewis Hamilton because he's always just so good on qualifying. He can, much like Sebastian Vettel, find a lap time out of nowhere. He's been struggling all weekend. He can just somehow find that lap time and still go, you know, still go and get the pole position. So. Even though I think Rosberg may be favourite looking at the current times for pole position, never discount Hamilton. And we all know how quick Vettel and Ricardo are in qualifying too, so never discount them. Also Alonso, it's such a short track that it definitely closes the gaps up a little bit. So even if, for example, the Ferrari's half a second down over a lap in, you know, tracks like Spa, here in Brazil it could be about, you know, two tenths of a second just because it's that much shorter of a lap. So I honestly think that it will be a bit closer in qualifying, but we'll still get the McLaren, uh, sorry, not McLaren, Mercedes 1-2 on the grid. And I think that it will probably be Rosberg over Hamilton in qualifying. But as I said, you can never discount Hamilton. He's just so good in that, you know, when the pressure's on, he's just sometimes just pulls the lap time out of nowhere. But in terms of the race, well, I think we've seen over the last couple of races that Rosberg has been quick in qualifying, but not as quick in the race, which I'm not too sure that's down to what he does in practice or that's just overall just he's not as good over the race runs. Maybe he uses too much fuel, has to save some at the end, that sort of stuff. Um, but I think, in all honesty, guys, it's going to be a very close battle this weekend. Hamilton's won here once, so it's not as if it's a track that he's had lots of glory at in the past. So he's been quick round here, but he's only won once, which obviously still winning a Grand Prix is a big thing. But 
only winning once around here for Lewis Hamilton isn't a lot. If you compare that to something like Abu Dhabi where he's got multiple wins, it's, uh, you know, one of those things where, looking at this weekend, it may be a bit more equal between the two Mercedes drivers here. And I think... In all honesty, guys, I think it probably will be a Hamilton win over Rosberg yet again this weekend. But, as I said, never discount each driver because they're both just incredibly fast. And Rosberg really needs to go out and win this race to close that gap in the championship. So, maybe Rosberg might be a bit more ruthless with his overtakes. Maybe we'll see some very optimistic moves from Rosberg. And maybe, as Hamilton is leading the championship, he can maybe, you know, afford to lose a couple of points here. But, you know, make sure that he doesn't actually just, like, DNF because of Rosberg crashing into him or something. So... I think we're going to see a very aggressive Rosberg in the race. Maybe a bit more of a cautious Hamilton. Maybe just letting Rosberg win if Rosberg's being very, very feisty. So we'll see what happens with it, obviously, guys. Lots of stuff can happen in Formula 1, and as I said, it normally does. So, yeah, let me know with your thoughts and comments down in the comment section of the video. If I have to do a prediction for the race, I'll do a top 5 because top 10 always gets a bit awkward um, because I'll always get it wrong. But first, I'll say Hamilton. Second, I'll say Rosberg. Third, I'll say mm, Felipe Massa. Then fourth place, I'll say Alonso. And then fifth place, um, Bottas. So anyway, we'll see what happens with that. But I'm sure there'll be lots of interesting stuff happening. But thanks again for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Leave your comments as always down below. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. But until next time, it's been Axe. I'm out here. Goodbye.